Hello and welcome everyone to the Better You podcast, where we go in depth and get to listen to stories of both strength and courage, straight from some of the leading health, fitness, and wellness experts who help transform lives one person at a time. I am your host, RK, and today we are joined by the lovely Amira. So how are you today? I am really excited to be here and connect with you and your audience. So yeah, super pumped. Great. So of course, um, as you say to the audience, so I would like our audience to know more about you and what you do exactly. So could you give us a little background of how you started, where it all began? Was it like a transformational experience for you? Could you share that with everyone? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I am an Ayurvedic health coach, a yoga teacher, and I'm kind of on this huge mission to help professional women really um, improve their health and prevent disease um, using the ancient practice of Ayurveda. So my my journey has been quite a colorful one of a lot of healing and self-discovery and reprogramming, um, and I hope it kind of resonates with, with your audience. So I was in the corporate world for about 10 years um, and climbing that corporate ladder felt really, really amazing, no? Until my body gave up and I didn't listen to kind of like the whispers of the universe, um, you know, and that kind of came in a little, in a little tap, which was like indigestion, weak immune system, anxiety. I felt cold all the time and I literally like couldn't even run my hair and my hands through my hair, you know? Um, and I didn't listen to that. And then the universe gave me a little pinch and that kind of came in the form of hypothyroid, insomnia. I felt tired all the time. I was stressed out. Um, I had candida, parasites, low body weight, and I had amenorrhea. And um, that's when the universe decided to give me a little bit of a slap across the face and sent me to hospital due to burnout and a whole host of vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Um, and I think for me, there wasn't a bigger wake up call than looking up at the ceiling of the hospital room and realizing that I had pushed my body to its absolute limit. And um, then I was released from hospital and I was kind of um, went from specialist to specialist trying to find answers. And the only solution seemed to be prescription medication. Um, and I just felt like there was way more to that. So I then decided to leave my corporate job um, a week later. And then six weeks after that, I was on a plane to Bangalore, India to kind of fulfill this dream of becoming a yoga teacher. Um, and in India, I got sick again, and through fortunate events, I ended up at an Ayurvedic clinic, and um, yeah, so at the beginning, he was asking me, what's health history like, um, and then, so you've got this, 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 you know, which is like a severe vata. Yeah imbalance and I didn't actually even tell him about all these symptoms he kind of just worked it out through this ancient wisdom and right there and then I thought wow like this definitely has something that I need to know more about no so then I went on to study Ayurveda um, and here we are five years later I'm an Ayurvedic health coach and on this kind of huge mission as I said that's amazing actually you know to be honest with you it's the first time I've encountered Aveda. So could you tell us a little a little more about it? Like how does it go and how did you begin or how was the start of it for you? Yeah, so Ayurveda is like one of the most sophisticated and powerful body-mind health systems in the world that dates back to ancient India, so about five thousand years ago. And Ayurveda is actually this is the science of yoga. So many of your audience may know about yoga. So okay. Ayurveda actually looks at balancing the body and mind uh, through the healthy nutrition, mindfulness practices. Um, so that's kind of why they they work in conjunction with each other. So 
Ayurveda says for in order for you to be healthy, you must have knowledge of all aspects of your life. You know, quite often in the West, we kind of just focus on what we put in our mouth or yeah. the exercise that we do that we forget other components of our life, you know, like what's your emotional state like? Are you happy with where you're living? Are you happy with what you're doing? Dharma, you know, your big reason why you're here, your life's desires. So that's kind of like in that nutshell. So I love Ayurveda because it actually looks at a person from a bio-individuality point of view. So what works for me, Raya, may not necessarily work for you. Mm -hmm. And what works for you yeah. may not necessarily work for your next door neighbor, right? So even though in the West we're saying, you know, we should all be having green smoothies and yeah. we should all be having Buddha bowls and mm -hmm. that kind of lifestyle, right? So that's kind exactly. of what was throwing my body out of whack. Yeah. So... Um, the bio-individuality point of view is really, really amazing. Um, and so in Ayurveda, they work with the five elements that are within our body and within nature. So it really works with the rhythms of nature. Um, uh, sorry, which is ether, air, fire, mm -hmm. water, and earth. And then they go on to make the, the three doshas. Nice. Yeah. Like, so that, that, that's like I'm, I'm learning so much about it like people well all over the world when we say yoga it's just like oh you know you practice it, it, it everyone just thinks and encloses it in a box like oh when you say yoga it's just exercise but this mm -hmm. is like an amazing thing that people should you know learn more about because it's very holistic so is there like a specific experience that you've had so far that's very special for you since you started practicing Aveda? Yeah, so um, as I mentioned, they come on to make the, the three doshas now. And I realized that one of my doshas was elevated. Um, and um, my job has actually been to bring this one back into balance, no? So the one that was elevated, which is the wind energy, um, which yeah. is really characterized by, you know, when, we're, when we think of the air energy, for example, it's dry, it's cold, it's mobile, it's rough, it's light, yeah. light no? Um, yeah. And when this one is in balance, it's, you know, people are very creative, they're visionaries, um, they are really good at coming up with new ideas, they're adventurous, body-wise they're quite like straight up and down, very slim. But when this particular dosha comes out of balance, it can look like anxiety, like insomnia, like gas and bloating, like weight drop, constipation. So you can kind of see the rhythms there, you know, yeah. and sometimes we tend to speak like 100 miles an hour and it's really difficult for us to understand, yeah. you know. Um, quite often we have very dry skin. Um, so my job, um, you know, as a, as a practitioner now is helping people come back into balance because when one dosha is in excess, it just mm -hmm. makes sense to come back into balance, you know. So when the other dosha, which is the pitta dosha, which is the hot one, the whole, it, the whole point of it is to bring it back down to, um, you know, cooling it down. So this can look like sometimes like anger, like irritation, like acne. So you can see how um, the whole aspect of Ayurveda is really, really um, focused on coming back into balance. That is just so amazing. Like it is just info over now. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. yeah it, but it's like, it, it sounds like a very beautiful practice. So has there been anyone very special for you that you have somehow managed to teach or begin to teach already? How has it been working with your own people, your own clients? Yeah, so I'm finding that um, a lot of my clients have very common um, conditions at the moment. There's a lot of stress. People are not sleeping very well. Um, people are sometimes a little bit backed up, so they're not going to, yeah. they're having, you know, irregular bowel movements. And all of this is kind of, you know, connected in Ayurveda, no? And I think, like, for me, the biggest success stories are people who get to sleep. Um, and that's a huge one, no? Um, with yeah. everything that's going on right now, um, sleep is a huge one. And I get a few of my clients are coming from sleeping um, and just people who want to know more about um, digestion because the whole focus of Ayurveda as well is where the digestive system works, no? 
So we need that to function smoothly so then you are able to absorb all your nutrients. So you are able to um, really be energized. You know? So the digestion part of Ayurveda is really, really key. I see. So, you know, working with others just really makes you learn a lot more about how the world works and how everyone is currently feeling. And uh, it, this is just blowing my mind right now. So um, with that, is there anything specific like when, when let's say I want to start my journey or I want to learn more about Aveda, is there a specific um, tip that you would like me to start with, like especially for beginners or someone who would like to join um, Aveda? What do you normally suggest to them? Because a lot of times in these days, we get to encounter clients who are like, you know, you, they just want to like, they want to get there right now. So. Well, how do you deal with very overly clients? Yeah, and I think that's one really interesting thing that you brought up, no? In the West, we're so kind of um, obsessed with numbers, no? Yeah. How much should I be weighing? How many cups of exactly. water should I be drinking a day? Mm -hmm. How many hours of sleep should I be having? Yeah. And Ayurveda does not look at that at all. It looks at quality. So what is your quality of sleep? What are the quality of foods you are consuming? No, what's the quality of your water? Because tap yeah. water is not the same as spring water, right? So everything right. is about the quality. Um, but I think one component where clients can really, really start is focusing on their sleep. And in Ayurveda, we have this saying that um, sleep is actually more important than diet and um, exercise combined. So that's really huge, no? Because there's so yeah. much happening in your sleep, the rejuvenation, the detoxing, you know, the resting of the brain and the body. So um, yeah. I think sleeping is like one of the main um, components of Ayurveda. And um, it's actually one of the pillars in my three month program, because I really feel like once we start to hack your sleep, that it has so many ripple effects on your overall health. No, And then looking at your diet in general. No, So really finding out your dominant what your imbalances are and then working with that but in general Ayurveda really um, promotes um, a warm easy to digest food um, mm -hmm. with lots of spices and then incorporating the six tastes of Ayurveda and kind of minimal snacking um, yeah. so we really let that, um, that digestion system work until you know, your stomach is kind of digesting breakfast and then you're putting in yeah. like a handful of cashews and then you're having a green smoothie and then this mm -hmm. is when we start to have all these digestive issues you know where we are yeah. backed up where we have experienced gas and bloating and I think a lot of people think that gas and bloating is like not a huge issue yeah. but um, I have worked with a lot of clients who who really struggle with um, gas and bloating and you know that kind of has a ripple effect and that's when you start to accumulate toxins in the body long term. That is true. All right. So just I'm, I'm trying to absorb all this information and it is just so like it's so amazing. Like it's a brand new world that's opened up for me. So I'm mm -hmm. sure that our audience will really, really have so much insight and so much lessons that they get to learn from this episode. So is there um, a particular word of wisdom that you would like to leave us with that you as a practitioner of Aveda have for your own benefit and for everyone that you get to teach like is there like a really solid piece of advice that kind of just you know it kind of just sticks it kind of is something that you would normally advise each and every one that you get to teach yeah i think for me it's uh really listening to your body no i didn't listen to my body when it came in the formula you know small little little yeah. taps and then i had to get to hospital no and this is why um, i love working with women um who uh, really are in the corporate world but want to avoid burnout because burnout is like one of the huge issues that I'm working with now you know yeah. stress overwhelm not sleeping not eating right now and it's constantly pushing that body so 
and don't ignore it no and as women as well like you know we're taught to just push through it no so i yeah. think for me it's like listen and if you know if your gut instinct tells you that maybe i should just you know go to the doctor and work out what it is yeah. and then going to the doctor as well is another mm -hmm. you know another thing like really yeah. do your own research you know you yeah. are the master this is your temple that you're working with True. no don't just take the doctor's advice for as you know as what it is no really yeah. learn because if i had gone down that you know pharmaceutical route i would have been on about 12 pills a day just to function as a regular oh human being gosh. But yeah. instead, I, I knew instinctively like that I there was something more to it, no? And, you know, eating right, sleeping at the correct times, following a daily routine, yeah. um, hydration, all of that, I am I managed to really eliminate, you know, um, all these health issues that I was experiencing. So be, you know, be really, um, really mindful of what you're putting in your body and also really question, you know, when, when um, yeah. society tells you, you know, to do this because it might not necessarily work for your body. That is so true. And that is a really good lesson to learn. Oh my goodness. Like this has been an amazing interview, an amazing episode. Thank you so much for all that you have shared with us today, Amira. Thank you so much, Raya. You're very welcome. Now, of course, I know you guys listening are probably wondering where, where did we see her? Well, of course, I will be leaving all those wonderful details in our description box. So you can just check that out, click that, and you'll get to see Amira and her amazing work. And maybe you could, you know, book your next sessions with her all right so guys i would like to thank all of you for joining us today I'm like, amira thank you so much for joining us and for teaching us so much today <laughs> uh -huh. all right so again guys thank you for joining us here on the better you podcast and as always it's Coach Arcade reminding you to never give up on your movement journey because it's never too late to move. Bye-bye.